traffic backed up over here, so I'm guessing it's probably on that side of the intersection. I not see. Yeah, it looks like they're over there, maybe. Yeah, let's see, they're over there on that side. Yeah, move the key yeah. down there. Appreciate it. See what it looks like over there, but it's pretty, pretty muddy. Make a quick turn around here, real quick. Wondering what happened exactly because the, they're pretty far away from each other. A pretty big. Uh, Truck back real quick. 
10 or 15 feet probably. Here's my rigging box. truck back a little bit here so we don't have to pull out any more line or any more rigging. Poison oak, I assume that I, I hear something all up in here, looks like. Let me see. Ooh. Heavy damage on this side. Just have a couple pictures. matter where the shift is. Open the door if I wanted to. I'm gonna have to kind of drag this one out. Assuming they went head on with each other. Judging by the uh, damage that was done. anything at all. Just have to drag it out of there. I'll position it in a little bit. Man, 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 how you doing? All right. Hey, what happened to y'all's uh, big truck that was uh, towing the equipment? I saw it broke down on 288. Towing equipment? Oh, the Landall? Yeah. I'm not sure. I, I didn't really hear anything about it. I, 
I heard they called, uh, but I didn't hear what, what actually happened to it. Yeah. As far as I, I've seen pictures of it, they got there, so. Yeah, I guess your off truck that was pulling it mm -hmm. was on the shoulder, I guess, I don't know. Uh, they might have been checking the load or something, I don't know. Uh, I didn't hear anything about it. was about the next it. day. Oh, well, yeah, 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 we towed it the next day because they had to get permits and stuff for it. Oh, that's what it was. So no way for the permit to Yeah. I think part of the door and axle are over here well, that, on this side. That's, that's what I see, and there was springs yeah. and all kinds of stuff everywhere over there. So. Would they go head on or what? Yeah, I think one of the beers, someone was laying, they crashed. I, I seen that both driver's sides were like taking off, you know? Oh, yeah. this around here now. Grab it from the front so I can spin it around and control that front end now. I don't get one. I, I'm my helper. I pre I like working alone. They ain't got they ain't got somebody getting in my way. Get to do whatever I want. <laughs> right? Yeah. And that hey, that's another reason I ain't got to split the call with nobody. Got what you need off of it? Good.
those frame slots. Then get to this frame slot. Yeah, I get that other block up there if I can. One more? Uh, that ought to do it. I just need enough room to get underneath it there. This one back here. I was gonna say it kind of rolled backward a little bit. Yeah, that's why I've had that. I want that extra block. Don't get behind it. I'm sure y'all probably seen it, but there's some kind of black line. It looks like probably like some kind of like signal wire or something laying in the grass oh, there. Yeah, it's but it's like it's like draped the whole yeah. It's like draped the whole way down through that ditch. Oh, you 
want me to go ahead and start loading up the rest of the parts down the road here? Ah, uh, yeah. Are they just like on the side of the road or what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll, let me get a couple chains on the back of this thing, and then I'll, I'll pull down there that way and gotta carry it so far. Start getting, getting everything collected up. Yep. I'll be down there just a second. Appreciate it. I'll save you a few steps. Yeah, I appreciate that. Since you don't have no help. Right. It'll be, you see this, uh, the 701 Velasco Street address? That's where it'll be going. Yeah, that we're out of Angleton. That's a, probably 15, 20 minutes maybe. Not very far. And then our, our uh, phone number's right there on the side of the truck also. Y'all have uh, full coverage insurance on it by chance? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, so just. USAA. Okay. So uh, you call them to make a claim or if it's going on their insurance or whatever, um, tell them, say, hey, Campbell's Towing has it. Um, if you can, call our office and let us know, hey, this is the claim number and all that, and then they'll settle up with the. Uh, and so uh, the, can't, the name's on the door there. I'll get you a business card here in just a second. a business card okay, that uh the, that velasco address isn't on there okay. our main office is there is off of 288b okay um but that's the address it'll be going to and all of our phone numbers and stuff are on there okay. as well okay thank you yes ma'am yes Some more straps on this thing do it here since it's missing a wheel and stuff i really don't like strapping this far down on the wheel, but I got two on this one. This one is pretty far off the road, so. Got to spin the wheel around for us. That's why I don't like going down low. Because then the wheel wants to walk around on you. I uh, really don't like doing this, but the way it's tucked in on that bumper there and I'll strap through the mud. I'm just gonna do it like this. Not how I really want to do it, but it'll work. Really nothing to strap to on the other side. All the big pieces over there. the bed down that way we gotta well throw it in the car yeah you just toss most of the stuff. yeah that's why, why i seen that hub was missing i figured it was attached somewhere but it looks like kind of everything everything kind of came apart didn't it's it in little pieces it's good we did good on this one huh
does the insurance company settle and then y'all get to take this for scrap metal well it depends sometimes they'll say uh hey you know this hey, is a pretty good caliper if you want one <laughs> right got a spare caliper now generally most of the time they'll send uh like copart to send out that, that ia that into the auto auction place right here uh -huh. most of the time they haul them up there to houston or I, this one up I, yeah, I, I put the other tire up front there. We got stuff everywhere. We got stuff. It, yeah, there's everything else kind of small chunks of stuff everywhere. Yeah. At least it's out of the road. Yeah. It's out of the road when they mow the grass, they'll chop it up to smaller stuff. Yeah. Gone you know it. Yep. Appreciate it. No problem. I guess that's. Thank you. Yep. Don't forget to tell your boss you need a raise because you don't have right. one, not a partner. Right. Tell them the other record company's got two. So he got two. He can have he can have the help. I'm I'm good. See, I'm trying to get you a raise though. See? Right. So hey. Excuse me. Right. You know but, they're paying two and they're only paying one. Of these. So hey. You get a little extra money. Right. So, hey, give, give me a bigger cut. Appreciate it, guys. here shortly thanks for watching guys little bit rainy over here it's nice and sunny over there in Rocheron and just now it's got some rain showers back over here towards Angleton probably gonna have some fun getting this thing unloaded might have to do a little bit of trickery to get it to uh, fight that other side over there. We'll see how it reacts. Sometimes when they're turned like that, sometimes they want to fight you, sometimes they don't. As long as it stays at that angle and it slides, it ought to slide straight down especially right now with the bed being a little bit wet since it rained that will help us 
quite a bit. Glad to uh, see that the driver was out of the vehicle and talking. She said she was a little bit sore, but she was there, she was fine, she wasn't in the back of an ambulance or anything, so that's always good. So I don't know how bad off the driver of the other vehicle was, the Denali. Uh, not sure exactly in this one. Who is at fault? I didn't really hear much about it on the scanner. All I uh, heard was it was a two vehicle wreck. The scanner made it sound like it was closer to the intersection than it was, but slides it ought to do all right and try to block it or something if need be to get it to slide Sometimes they don't. This one is nuts. Try my other block. Got a little bit bigger block here. I only use this for trailers, but I found that sometimes it'll work more like a skate. That's pretty good there. If the tire can't spin, it won't go in the direction that it's turned. Which means it'll roll straight off. I should have backed up a little bit further and I could have just walked out from underneath it. In this particular case, I would have to winch it all the way back. It means I would have to fight it back off. I'm not trying to do all that. So I'm just going to block the tire here so that it can't spin. It can't roll away from us.
Vini. Cages. I'm trying to stay out of this thing with how much that works. How much glass is inside of it? So what I'm gonna do here? So I'm gonna pull my bed almost all the way out of it. so that it can't roll away. Release the parking brake. So the block so that it can roll. And then push the car back where I want it. Now I can walk the vehicle back to where I want it. Which is gonna be right about there. Now I can set my parking brake again. do this on a vehicle that was not basically totaled I'm not really concerned with this one considering the extent of the damage that was done as a result of the incident I'll probably do blocks of wood and stuff here. Probably. Use this to uh, block it up for the next time it gets towed out of here. That way it's up. It's not so hard to get underneath. I gotta pick up a couple things here, finish up my paperwork, and we will be good to go.
I appreciate you guys for watching. If y'all would, please subscribe, like, and share.